Welcome back from the break, everyone. Next up, we will have Ms. Magdalene Lowe, Senior Vice President, Head of Innovation at Prudential. In her role, Ms. Lowe works closely with the leadership team to empower innovative potential within each Prudential staff through upskilling and exposure to new ways of work. She also leads cross-functional efforts to embed processes that facilitate a culture of innovation at Prudential with new ideas. In her free time, she develops career design games and volunteering at charities designed towards children. This afternoon, Ms. Lowe will be sharing on nurturing future fintech talents during times of disruption and how youths can prepare for a career in InsurTech. Ms. Lowe, please. Good afternoon, Inopoli. I'm really glad to be here for the second consecutive year to speak with all of you. Uh, it's really been a pleasure to be interacting with so many of you student entrepreneurs and innovators. You guys are surely doing more than what I've ever done you know, when I was your age. Today, I'm here with one singular theme, right? And if I can persuade some of you to step up on this, I would consider this session a success. You see this on the screen, right? And in fact, no slides. I'm going to have this up all the time. This is about Proof Integrate. So you've already heard I'm from Prudential. Prudential runs this open innovation competition, right, called Proof Integrate. It used to be something that was run out of Singapore for Singapore. Last year and this year, we have made it into something that is global in nature. So on Peach Day, we would have our senior executives from all over the world, Asia, Africa, and they'll all be tuning in to watch the finalist Peach. So if you have an idea, a solution that you've actually built up, this is your time to shine. Right, and today, I really have three messages for you. you know, the theme is about how do we discover and how do we raise up fintech talent. And I'll suggest three things that you could be doing for this to happen. Number one, you show up. Right? Sounds simple enough. And to those of you who are tuning in to this, congratulations, you have shown up. You could have been doing something else with your time, but you are here this afternoon looking at this, right? And you are here trying to figure out what you can do in terms of fintech, in terms of entrepreneurship. So kudos to you. Showing up is the first step, right? Um, but besides showing up here and just listening, I'm going to suggest to you that you also need to take action, right? So while today's session is supposedly about proof integrate, it could also apply to any other area in your life in your entrepreneurship journey, in your innovation journey, right? Whether as an independent uh, startup or if you go into the corporate world in future. Proof integrate. One easy online submission, right? But are you going to do that, right? Are you going to show up on that? Do you have ideas? And I will say to you that I think you do, right? Because I guess the people who are listening in to this are already self-selected. Uh, your school systems have given you very, very good exposure. It could be something that you have started on your final year project on. It could be some inspiration you have gotten from lessons. Maybe even something that you have heard from this Inopoli set of workshops. Right? So, will you show up onto the link? Uh, that's the QR code that you see on your screen. Will you show up there? Well, and I hope that some of you are already clicking into that. Uh, will you show up there and submit something? So, that's... Step one, right? Besides that, what do we hope that you can do? Match up. Match your existing skill sets, your existing ideas, maybe even ideas you'll get from research, right? Take that and match it up with whatever the challenge statements are. And this is something that I'm here to help you to do as well. I'm going to walk you through some of the thinking that an insurance company like Prudential has. And I hope that that will be useful for you, not just in the context of Proof Integrate 2021, but in your life as a fintech entrepreneur as well. So, what exactly is InsureTech about? I'm here to demystify it for you. It's quite simple, really. If you think of it, first we need a product, right? We need an insurance product. So that's the process of manufacturing that product. The second thing we need to do is 
Well, we need to sell the product, right? We need to find a way to engage the audience, people who would buy the product from us, and then we need to sell it to them. Then we need to service these customers, right? Uh, maybe they have changed addresses. Uh, we need to be able to um, change that in, in our systems. Uh, maybe they would like uh, to top up their policy. We need to be able to do that. Uh, so policy servicing, right? That's the third main pillar. And then you have claims. Why do you buy an insurance policy? It's if something bad happens or if your policy has reached maturity, you need to take out that money, right? So um, if we put it in the bucket called claims or maturity, how do we give people their money back? Yeah? How do we process this um, in a very simple way? So if you take all of this, any one stage of this or all of this in totality, and you can simplify it or make it better, right? Somehow optimize it using technology. That is fintech, financial technology. That's as simple as that, right? And I hear some of you saying already, hey, but look, um, I don't have any fintech solutions. This morning, I was talking with somebody, uh, one of the startups in your midst, and they have this thing, this solution, uh, an existing solution where they teach people things on WhatsApp. So very simple ways of communicating, maybe complex ideas. That's cool. We, we as an insurance company would love to work with people like that who can use maybe very simple language in a very easily accessible format and help young people understand more about financial literacy, maybe even nudge people about their health outcomes. So yes, I think it's really for you to think creatively. Uh, think about those buckets that I just spoke to you about. And if you have any ideas, uh, whether from personal experience, from something you learned in class, or even from something you've just heard in Inopoly, submit an idea, submit your solution, uh, if you've built it out, um, into Proof Integrate. Yep, so show up and match up. I also want to talk about what's in it for you. Right? So why would you bother showing up at Proof Integrate? Why would you bother matching up? Right? Because Prudential is here to help you to scale up. And how have we done that? Let me talk to you about last year's winners or finalists. Right? So we've got 99 entries from all over the world, uh, including Europe, Africa, and of course, a lot of the entries came from Singapore because we have a great school system that feeds as uh, great submissions from students like yourself. And these are what are some of the things that have happened to these finalists since then. We have one finalist come into Prudential as a management associate. So great job over there, yeah? And gain employment with them. A good entry-level job when she submitted this. She was a student in one of the universities, uh, went through our assessment centers, and this was one of the things that had uh, sort of added to her portfolio and tipped her over. So that's one thing that could happen. The startups themselves, right, um, also gain benefits. We have Winston from Finute, and you'll hear from him in a while. Uh, he came up with this great idea about a game, a virtual 3D world game, right? And you might think, what has that got to do with financial literacy? Well, if you remember what I said earlier on about engaging with young people so that we can um, help them with their financial needs, their health and wealth outcomes, then yeah, yes, if that's something that young people like, it then becomes relevant for us as an insurance company. So Winston comes along with his solution. Um, we discovered him first in one of our student competitions, the Prudential Young Trailblazers, and then he went on to pitch this on a global stage in front of our senior executives from London and Hong Kong and across Southeast Asia. And you know, without even my input, uh, my colleagues from around the region said that, hey, this is one of the most exciting solutions. We then did a proof of concept with Winston. I'm very, very happy to be sharing that Winston's team is going to be launching ProQuest. Right? Something that we collaborated on, we co-created together with Winston, so Prudential of our management associates, our marketing team, together with Winston, we came up with a financial literacy quest, a small mini game, 
um, in the hopes of teaching people more about insurance policies, about protection, about co-payment in insurance. Right? Uh, you might think that sounds like a very heavy topic, but that's actually a really, really fun game. I played through it. Uh, the first time I, I played through it, I like, died halfway in the game. I was like, no, this can't be happening to me. I played it again. Right? Um, and that's one way that we, we work with, with young people like that. Yeah? Um, we, we get their ideas, we incubate their ideas, and then we work together. We put our own people and resources into this and together co-create a game that's launching at the Singapore FinTech Festival. And we're going to see how else we can work uh, with Winston. Right? This definitely would not be uh, the last collaboration. We have at least two more quests that we're going to build out with him and his team. And that could be you as well if you submit for Proof Integrate 2021. What else do we have? We have, very excitingly, um, managed to match up startups from Africa. Uh, and we are going to bring this startup across to our African LBUs, right? our African business units. Uh, and we're really, really excited about that as well. And you know, where else could this bring you? Right? We, we have 20 million, over 20 million customers or users on Pulse, so not just Prudential customers, but people who might not be Prudential customers could be on the Pulse by Prudential app. Right? That's something else you should download. Um, if you look at the QR code, if you're already going into it, you'll see that a lot of the problem statements revolve around Pulse by Prudential. Uh, it's an app by Prudential, right? And um, you can go to your app store, we do Pulse, and find that app uh, in there, right? Play around with it and see what you can come up with. So I'm going to share very quickly with you about the three challenge statements and uh, just be able to help you to... Uh, wrap your head around them. The first one is about nutrition, right? So if you have any background at all about uh, nutrition, maybe you are from uh, the, the school of, I don't know what it's called here, uh, nutrition. Uh, that could be something that you tie in together with technology, right? And, and come up with something. Uh, it could be an idea or it could be a full-blown solution that you've actually somehow already built out, right? So that's the first one, anything nutrition. And on this note, right, I'll say this. Uh, I love food, right? I know that there are some things that are not healthy, but sometimes I can't help myself, right? And that's the, at the crux of a lot of these nutrition issues, right? Maybe you could be someone who has done quite a lot of research into behavioral science, right? Th this could be a problem that you also then start thinking about. Is there something from these fields of studies that you can pluck into the nutrition space? Right? How do you help people to remember to do the things that they've committed? Right? I say, hey, I want to lose weight, I'm going to exercise more, I'm going to eat more healthily, and then maybe I don't. Right? So if you can come up with an app that helps me to do that, right? helps the millions of people around the world to do that, hey, you will be a hero. Right? Not to mention that there are cash prizes to be won, not, mention that it, not to mention that it will be a great opportunity to pitch in front of senior stakeholders in a prudential group and potentially have your solution scaled across Asia and Africa. So, that's the first challenge statement. The second challenge statement would be of interest to any of you uh, startups and scale-ups out there. If you already have something in place, right, that helps people to improve their health outcomes or their wealth outcomes, or maybe it's just something that's fun to be doing, right, and you get a lot of user engagement. Come and speak to us, submit under challenge statement two, because that is where we are saying uh, we want to help you to scale up, right? So maybe you are selling your app, 99 cents in the app store, 9.90 in the app store, and maybe you have some traction already, you've been selling to 1,000 people, 10,000 people. Come talk to us, let's see how we can help you to reach 20 million, right? So that's the second challenge statement, right? How, if you are already engaging users, and if you are working with uh, people to monetize your solution already, talk to us, we can help you scale up. So uh, once again, the QR code in the um, background. You'll see a lot of faces there as well. Uh, these are the people you are going to be pitching to. So it's really, really exciting, right? I'll say even for myself, it's really rare to see all of these people 
in that same place at the same time, but that's what you are going to be able to enjoy, to pitch to all these senior stakeholders, and it's going to be a great experience, right? And you at least get bragging rights. So show up, match up, and let us help you to scale up. I'm just going to take a pause here um, and see if there are any questions, right? I'm told that uh, we have an iPad here and there will be their questions. So let me try to answer them. Is there a theme that Prudential is looking for or can that be any solution? Uh, well, the few themes, nutrition. So if you have a nutrition solution, we have a department in Prudential that's just looking at nutrition. Uh, that department is one of the main um, coordinators of this and the, your solutions go to them. So if you have a nutrition related one, we are very, very interested, yeah? Could be a meal plan, could be a, a journal, uh, could be something else that you have used for another purpose and then you're re repurposing it for nutrition. That works as well. Uh, if it's an idea, submit in category A. If it's a full-fledged solution or something you, that you can make into a full-fledged solution, uh, that's category B. Okay, um, and then challenge statement two, right? It's, it's uh, what we call vibrant platforms. That's anything at all, as long as you can monetize it in a sustainable way, and Prudential can help you with that. Yep, uh, that's challenge statement three, and this is for all the non-techies out there, right? As long as you have a phone, and you are able to get onto the Pulse app, and you're able to find a feature in the Pulse app that you like and that you can uh, work with, uh, and get your friends on it. Uh, tell us how it has benefited you. Tell us how it, can, it has benefited your friends. And uh, you stand to win. This is actually the best price, 5,000 Singapore dollars, right? So if you have nothing to do this weekend, or even if you have, this is a good one to, to look out for, yeah? Um, okay, I don't have an idea yet. What can I do to get some inspiration? Uh, great question. What do you do? Um, if you are a purist, you would say, let me do some design thinking, right? Let me talk to my friends, let me see what they need, or let me even look at my own life, right, as a young person. Uh, what is it that I would like, right, um, as something that helps me to improve my health and wealth outcomes, or health or wealth outcomes, right? If you can do that, that's great, right? So build something that you yourself will use, or that somebody in your social circles, in your communities, could benefit from, right? That's uh, rule number one. Uh, you have to build something that is useful, something that will engage. Uh, what you can also look at is what are the skill sets you have, right? So what are some of the, the things that you feel that you will be able to contribute to this ecosystem? And it can be as easy as this, right? Uh, we had one competition where these people said, this is about mental health right, uh, mental wellness. So we want to be able to share the mental health message out to young people in a very simple and easily understandable way, right? So what these people then went ahead to do is they did this like little Insta squares of uh, very inspirational quotes, but in very Gen Z language. And they submitted it and they did win a prize, right? Because that was at the height of the pandemic, uh, People were wondering, like, you know, how long more will we be stuck at home? And those messages really, really resonated with the judges. So it could be as simple as that, uh, or it could be a tech solution. So start with the users. Um, also look into your own strengths and skill sets and ask yourself what you can contribute, right? Um, and then thirdly, for inspiration, go look at the Pulse by Prudential app so that you don't accidentally repeat some of the things that are already in there, or at least you show that, okay, I know it's in there, but I have a better su suggestion, I have a better way of doing the same thing, and then that could be your submission as well. Is there a theme that Prudential is looking for, any solution? Okay, we've covered that one. Uh, what's the process of applying for Proof Integrate? Uh, that would be the QR code in the background. So scan that, uh, it's a very simple online form, put in as much detail as you can um, with a good narrative. But one thing I also want to say is don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Yeah? Uh, I think sometimes as Singaporeans, we are a bit shy, right? Uh, and that's why my first point really is show up. 
right? Don't let your fear of maybe it's not good enough, maybe it's a dumb idea, uh, maybe it's whatever, right? A lot of reasons why we don't do the things that we think might be good for us to do. So step out of it, uh, just get started, yeah? And I also wanted to share this shirt that I'm wearing now. It's a ninja shirt. In Prudential Singapore, we call the innovators innovation ninjas, right? Why is that? Because ninjas are fast, they are nimble, uh, they go in, they get the job done, right? And that's the ethos I want to be sharing with you today, right? So not just about Proof Integrate, but about every area in your life, uh, every area in your future careers. Uh, just remember, get out there, start doing something, uh, in fact, anything that is worth doing is worth doing badly. Right, let me say that again. Anything that is worth doing is worth doing badly. The you know, first time I read that quote, it didn't make sense to me. Right? I'm a Singaporean, I must have the best standards. But what is this about? If we are trying something new, something for the first time, we're probably not going to be good at that. Yep. Um, and once we can get over that, uh, that's when we start learning, that's when we start um, that's when we stop being so hard on ourselves. That's when we get the opportunities to try out things that we could never have done if we were very self-absorbed and very fearful. So just want to encourage you, uh, step out and just start doing it. Yeah? Just, just put in something. What kind of background do I need to be involved in this project? I'm not a tech or finance student. Perfect! Uh, we love diversity, right? Uh, what's the fun if everything was only built by tech guys? I mean, tech guys, we still love you, still submit. Um, but equally, right, um, the example I shared about these students doing up this nice Insta stuff, I don't think they were tech students, right? But they did something that uh, they could do, and it turned out to be a, a great thing, right? Prudential's actually using some of these uh, for uh, our campaigns. The other thing that... Um, you might want to think about is what are some of the things that you already have uh, from your, your classes and lessons, and then try to apply those in. Yeah? So any background really is okay. Um, don't let it go to waste. Yeah? And if you think that something uh, may or may not be relevant, just go ask your friends, right? Because if they think it's useful, then it's useful because this is the target group that we are after. Right, or ask your parents if, if that's the demographic you're going after. Okay, um, so we want something that connects. We want something with a, a good uh, background, a good monetization strategy, if any. But again, don't worry if you don't have all the pieces. Just start with, with what you have and work your way up from there. Yep. Uh, and I, I just want to also share this example, right? Um, and this is why I feel very, very strongly about this point about showing up. The last innovation competition that we ran, right? we had many, many teams show up in front of us. And a lot of these teams said, hey, Mac, you know, basically asking all these questions that you guys asked, right? How do we work with Prudential? How do we um, submit our ideas? Uh, we, we really want to be doing all this stuff. And I've told everybody that I met, right? all the teams that I've met, if you're interested, come talk to me after the competition, and let's see what we can work out. A grand total of two people came to me after the competition. They became our interns over the last two months, and we love working with them. Um, if they come out to the working world at a time where I have a job uh, opening, I am pretty sure I'm going to offer them a job then. Uh, but the thing is, only two people out of the many, many people that we spoke with over the course of the competition come up, came up, right? So show up. That's like super, super important. Right? So background is less important than just showing up. Uh, and then, of course, do your best. Would doing an internship with Prudential help me in understanding the fintech industry better? Yes. Uh, an internship is one great way because you are immersed in the department, uh, innovation department. Please remember us. <laughs> uh, but really, Prudential is a great place uh, to be uh, working in. And that's because we, we believe in working very collaboratively. Uh, you know how some people say that, hey, Singapore is very boring and we're all stuck at home and uh, there's no diversity. But I want to share a day in my life, right, in Prudential. I have somebody in my team, uh, my direct team, who is a management associate from Laos. She's sitting in Laos now, but she's doing our work. I talk to her like every single day. 
um, she's going to be running a Laos cultural tour with us, right? Uh, so one of those like Airbnb experiences, uh, but virtually. And well, that's super cool, right? And that's part, all part of our jobs to raise funds for charity, <laughs> right? So that's um, something that we do. Um, I'm working across the region on Proof Integrate with my colleagues from Thailand, from Vietnam, from Africa. Just spoke with this lady from Uganda last Friday and we th were talking about fintech in all these countries. So that's what you get to do, right? Um, if you uh, join us in Prudential as an intern. Um, and it's really for you to be scoping out what you want to do. Yeah, I, I think Prudential is a place where uh, of course, there's a, there's a core part of the work which you have to do, and you should do it well, um, but there's always room to say, hey, can I volunteer to do something? Right? I want to learn this other thing. I'm going to put my hands up. Uh, maybe I work extra hours, or maybe I get myself allocated to it, so that becomes my sort of, uh, main job. That's all possible. Right? But put your hands up. Show up, match up, and then you scale up from there. So it's the same thing over and over again, right? even outside the proof integrate context. Uh, how do we work with Prudential to bring our fintech projects forward? Come on. <laughs> Proof Integrate 2021. Submissions close in two days, and we hope to see your submissions in there. Yep. Outside of Proof Integrate, um, you know where to find us, innovation at prudential.com.sg. Uh, we always welcome suggestions. Right? One of the things we say is for Gen Zs by Gen Zs, that's all of you. And I'll end off by saying, well, Winston is coming up next. So look at what he has to say, and that could be you, if you show up, match up, and scale up with Prudential. Thank you. Um, okay. Thank you, Madeline. We will now invite Ms. Tan to provide, uh, to, we will now provide, we will now ask Ms. Tan to pass a token of appreciation to Ms. Lowe. Yes. <laughs> 